mom and dad are out of town for the night, so I'm in charge of the greenhouse. Just going over here quick to check the gas pressure coming off the well. That's normal. Can you guys stay out here while I turn off the alarm? Yeah. Okay. Okay, get my beautiful greenhouse shoes on. So pretty much we're just gonna go through and check everything, like the tanks, the plants, the emitters, the controllers. We'll start back here with the tanks for the NFT system. Just gonna make sure there's enough in here. That's good. And then we'll look at the for troller. Make sure everything looks okay. Yep. Reservoir's fine. It is due for some hypo grow today, so we'll do that here in a second. Tomato tanks nice and full. This tank should be fine too. So now I'm just gonna go down the aisles really slowly and check every single channel to make sure the plants are happy. If they are wimpy, it usually means the emitter's clogged. It's looking good so far. This is Swiss chard. I think this is what's going next week to the CSA. Oh, that's a big one. It's pretty empty down this bay. Mom harvested all that rosy the other day. And then when they get back, she's got some Swiss chard and bok choy and I think some Carlton to get planted. We like to look underneath the channels too to make sure it's not leaking back by that return pipe. How's it look under there, boys? Good. Oh, it's mom. She got a notification from the security system. Hey, wave at the camera. Papa can see you. Thank God they didn't have all these cameras when I was a teenager. Just gonna get the carrots a little drink. Well, we finally have some beans. Just need a day or so to fatten up and then they'll be ready to harvest. There's a lot of little suckers, shoots coming off too. Huh. Dutch bucket system looks good. Pretty much the same thing when checking on them. Make sure all the plants look happy. But these are the cucumbers and they are ready for another clip. Here's the tomatoes. And I know I said they'd need a couple weeks before they needed clipped up on the strings, but I lied. These ones are falling over, so it's time to get these up too. There's a ton of stuff out here in the control tunnel for germinating. This is all the stuff I was saying is gonna go out in the channel soon. So mom, was contacted by the CSA place and was asked to bump up the weekly order to 900 heads. So we're pretty excited about that. I grabbed the vine clips and I think we're gonna start on the cucumbers. So just like before, I have the vine clips and our goal is to get these to grow straight up this string. So I'm just gonna take it and lift it a little bit, very gently without breaking off the little baby cucumbers and just clip it around the string and around the stem. Like that. The cucumbers will try to climb with these too, but they actually wrap around other cucumber plants and even the cucumbers themselves. So we cut these off. Crap, what are these called? Here's a big one. Okay, sweet. Look at all these flowers. These things are the best snack. I'm so excited. 
Okay, on to the tomatoes. I'm glad we are doing these today because one of them fell over since I've been here. I think this sunny day is really getting them to grow a lot. First, I need to line up the bobbins like always. So two per bucket, and then I need to drop down the string to reach the top of the tomato. these straighter ones here and what you do is get your string nice and tight and then you pick it up so the bottom of the stem is straight and then find a nice strong leaf and clip it right underneath of it onto the stem just like that since I had to straighten out the bottom of the stem on this one the top is kind of flopped over so by tomorrow the top right here will be pointing up and then I'm sure mom will come through and give it another clip so that way it can keep going up the string. These two are falling over pretty bad so I'm just going to be nice and gentle and get it as straight as I can. crazy how fast these grow once the sun starts coming out but for now this is pretty easy job just wait until they get big all the way up and we have to do the leaning and lowering that is a big job it's a good arm workout though And I noticed these are already throwing out little suckers, but I have to make sure the tomato clips are sanitized before we do that job. So probably soon. And then on this side, these tomatoes aren't quite as old, so they aren't ready yet. Probably next week. And I still need to do the hypo grow. So every seven days, we add this stuff to the main reservoir tank and it is a nutrient solution optimizer. So what it does is cleans out the algae and the buildup within the system. And if you're having problems with brown roots, this stuff is awesome. Go over here and pour it. So I need about 64 ounces or 2000 milliliters for my metric people. And that is enough for our 1000 gallon tank. So now we just dump it in right into the main reservoir tank. Now what do we want to have with dinner? I can have anything out of this whole section. I think some bok choy. This is mini bok choy by the way. And I haven't shown my bok choy that I have down in the basement system, so I'll have to do that when we get home. All right, I think everything's gonna be okay. They're gonna be home first thing in the morning, so we should be fine. But whenever they go away for the night or even take like a week vacation, the boys and I come out and just check on everything and we always have fun. So dad finished that purse he was working on in the last video. I told him I really like this, so he gave it to me. Okay. Oh, looks like your brother's already laying in the snow. Good boy, hike in. Yeah. You guys want to go sled? Yeah. All right, let's see if we can find them. 
I'm gonna see if I can find the snow bob too. Oh yes. This is Bobby's snow bob. to wring my snow pants out and take this down the big hill sometime. We fed the dogs, we fed the cat, now I'm just gonna jump out really quick and run down and check on the cows. They got hay and water, I just gotta look at them, make sure they're all okay. This one's huge, look at her belly. She's like a sphere. There's a couple spring calves on the way. Now this is when I usually sit here and think, crap, did I turn everything off? Did I lock everything? I think I did. I hope I did. I cut the bok choys in half and put some olive oil and seasoning on there. I'm just gonna roast them. While those are cooking, we'll check on these ones down here. I mean, I'm pretty happy with how these are turning out so far. We'll look at this lettuce though. It's doing okay. It looks a little bit yellow, but I need to do a nutrient tank change. All right, nice and easy. Not bad. Well guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, I wanted to say thank you for all the comments and feedback on the last one. That was helpful. So we are going to do a greenhouse build video. Um, just working on coordinating times. So look for that. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well out there. Thanks for watching.